Very last, you know we're at the last Bible Club for this year. 52 weeks, man, time goes quick, doesn't it? That's what we're going to be talking about this morning in Sunday uh, in church. But today we're going to just touch on one last topic in Revelation. 66 books, Revelation. We're going to talk about a new heaven and a new earth. God tells us in Revelation one day he's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. Wow. If you think about this earth, the earth that we live in, I'll show you some really beautiful pictures here. And the earth we live in is it's quite beautiful, isn't it? Think about the scenery, the beautiful mountains when people drive through the countryside. Oh, what about the fields of flowers? You ever walk through a field of flowers and just thought, wow, it's very beautiful, isn't it, Sarah? Sometimes you like to pick the flowers. And God made all these beautiful plants and all this beautiful scenery in this world. And this is the world we live in now. The world we live in now has some very beautiful landscapes, doesn't it? I'll show you some more. Look at this one. Wow, imagine, imagine walking through this countryside. Maybe Simon of Simon, do you remember in Monterey? Do you remember back that far? <laughs> it was a bit like this, wasn't it? Sometimes you walk through the city and you'd have the mountain ranges on either side. Man, they were quite beautiful, weren't they, when you think about the scenery that, that we had. But what about when, you went, when we went bushwalking? Do you remember when we went bushwalking and we saw the waterfalls, the beautiful trees? So, I mean, this world is quite beautiful, as it is already, but there's a problem with this world, isn't there? What is it? There's a problem with this world. There's a lot of sin, isn't there? Why? Because Adam ate of the fruit, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and the world was cursed. But even in this cursed world, isn't it still so beautiful? Right? But because this world has a problem, the problem is sin, isn't it? This is why God has to make a new heaven and a new earth. Because he wants to fix, he doesn't want to fix this world, he's going to replace it. You know, sometimes when you break a toy, we try and fix it. You know, maybe we try and use screws or we use sticky tape, we try and fix it. It's never the same, is it? But what happens if you get rid of it? You throw the old one out and you buy a new toy. That's what God's going to do with the world. He's going to get rid of the one that's broken and he's going to make it all new again. That's why he says in Revelation, look, 21, verse 1, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven, which one's the first heaven and first earth? This one. This is the first earth. So the one we looked at in the pictures of. And the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. So you see how God's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. He's going to replace this heaven and he's going to replace this earth with a new one. Okay? Now in this world, not only is the world cursed, but there's a lot of sorrow in this world, isn't there? You see this person, doesn't he look a bit very sad? There's sorrow in this world, isn't there? There's a lot of pain and suffering. There's a lot of crying as well. Is that what your face looks like when you guys are crying? There's some crying going on. It's crying in this world, isn't there? Sadness. <laughs> Does that look like you, Atticus? When you cry? Ooh. <laughs> Everyone cries in this world. There's pain, there's sorrow, disappointment, crying. But you know on the new heaven and new earth, what the Bible tells us, no more pain. No more sorrow. Look at this. This is verse 4 in Revelation 21. Remember how we saw the baby, this child crying? When you cry, you get tears in your eyes. Look at what it says about the new heaven and new earth. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. You know when you cry, you wipe away the tears? <laughs> well, the Bible says here, you know, when we're crying... All those tears, God is going to wipe away. You know, sometimes mummy and daddy will come and wipe away the tears. And God says he's going to wipe away all tears from their eyes. Look at this. There shall be no more death. Death is when you die. People die and they leave this world. It says, hey, no more death in the new heaven and the new earth. Neither sorrow or sadness, nor crying. <laughs> crying. No more crying. Neither shall there be any more Pain. Wow, what's pain? When you hurt yourself, you know, you kick your toe. Oh. No more pain. 
for the former things are passed away. Okay, so isn't it beautiful? We think about the new heaven and new earth. It's going to be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more death. It's going to be a perfect world. Now remember, we talked about, hey, this world already is already pretty good, isn't it? It's quite beautiful, isn't it? You know when we go camping? Isn't it pretty cool, the things that we see when we go camping? So just imagine how beautiful the new earth is going to be. If we look at the first earth and we think, wow, look at this creation that God has made. Imagine how great the second, the next, the new heaven and new earth is going to be. What do you think? Can you imagine that? I can't even imagine it. I can only imagine the things I've seen in this world, but what are the, about the things I can't imagine? How great that's going to be. But you need to make sure you go to the new heaven and new earth. How do you make sure you go to the new heaven and new earth, Abel? You go there by being grumpy? No. <laughs> do you go there by being good? No. Can't be good enough to get rid of your sin. What do you need? You need Jesus. Okay, so the way we get to the new heaven and new earth, what do we have to do to get rid of our sin? Because we can't take our sin to the new heaven and new earth. What do we got to do? We got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. We need to trust the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if we can, all our sins can be washed away, and then we can go to the new heaven and the new earth. Okay, so we have to make sure that as we grow up, we understand, we need to put our faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, some of us have already done it, haven't we? We know we're saved. All right. I hope you learned a little bit more about, so this is at the very end of the Bible. So this is how it ends. You know, it ends, God's going to get rid of the old heaven and the old earth and he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. We need to make sure we are there.